Okay, so I wanted to make some reactive targets um, so uh, for shooting. So what I did was I bought from this company. Let me see if you can see it. So comes from uh, ammoniumnitratefor-sale.com, the phone number. It says you basically mix this up. It, it's, it uh, talks about you needing a 223-308. I'm going to try it with um, a 22LR, and then we'll move up to a, to a 556, which is basically a 223, and we'll see if it works. There's no warranties. You assume more liability, it says. For use of the product, thank you for your business. I mean, I, I would think they want you to be a returning customer, so they would uh, uh, try to make this as safe as possible. So it has. This is the aluminum. Uh, that's ammonium nitrate. Basically, it's not a. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's technically an explosive. I think it's basically just a such a quick oxidizer that it kind of looks like an explosive. But so you have this. It says mix one tablespoon of powder for every pound of ammonium nitrate, but I think they, they sold this as a kind of like a kit. So I'm just gonna like put it together. I have everything else. Oops. Here's ammonium nitrate. Nice like a pill. Looks like uh, little round balls like you would expect. I got a funnel, a nice little funnel. Hmm. Okay. And I got some bottles. They want them to have a screw cap. So I got these. That seems to do it. I painted them orange so you can see them. The other thing I got is uh, a dryer sheet. I took a dryer sheet because uh, I, I thought it would get rid of the static cleaning, any static basically. Just rub it. So you don't have any static igniting this. Not that I really think it would. I think it takes a lot of, uh, takes the force of a, a bullet to do it, but it can't hurt. Just rub it. Rub it on whatever you're working on. Rub it on your hands. And then basically, I'm going to take this, okay. get this open, got some really nice powdered aluminum, very fine. Really fine, it's like dust. Right, take this. this up with some air in it and then try to coat everything uh, still trying to come through let's go back want to work it through because you could see I probably should have like spread it out inside but you know, just say, I 
And I'm just going to keep mixing this up, hopefully without making a mess. So I think I've done a pretty good job if you look at it. I don't know if you can. It's all coated. Basically, you want pretty much everything coated with the aluminum. Once you do that, you just want to transfer it to these bottles that I pre-painted. Or I think these sealed cups too. I have a cover, but they recommended bottles, so we'll see. We'll try and do one. Hopefully the funnel works. It actually works really well because I think the aluminum makes it slippery. So it's going down pretty well. And also because it's little balls. So we'll get a bunch of them. much to put in each one but we'll just see how it goes see the problem is if it's not full all the way, which it won't be, you just have to know to hit it at the bottom because that's where it is. I think rough, roughly a cup full is enough, which is about that much. Then we'll seal it up and we'll bring it outside and we'll test it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 